So, hi. Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. We've cut that part. Hey, so I have the to live in a day and age in which I can sit down in my back room and talk with a bunch of friends of mine uh, almost halfway around the world. There's a nine hour time difference between Cologne, where I am, and San Francisco, where uh, Anne Stefanik, Jen Lampton, Darius Garza, and Andrew Malice are sitting. And they are four of the members of the organizing team from Bad Camp 2014, the Bay Area Drupal Camp. How about we kick off with each of you. Uh, tell us uh, who you are and one thing about yourself. My name is Anne Stefanik. I live, I'm originally from Canada, live in San Francisco, and I'm a big proponent of open source, Drupal being my number one heartthrob. Hi, I'm Andrew Malice. I'm from uh, Toronto, living in San Francisco at an organization called Kalamuna. Wait a minute. What is with this Canadian infiltration going on in this <laughs> call? It's all about pluralism and getting along. And Canadians, apparently. <laughs> OK, hey, Darius, are yep, you Canadian? Hi. I'm Darius, uh, I'm a web designer, open advocate, big copyright geek, and I love bad camp. You forgot to say, I'm from Canada. <laughs> I'm from Michigan, which is sort of like Canada. The weather's the same, right? <laughs> uh, it's the one place in the country where you go south to go to Canada. <laughs> oh, OK. Wow. And Jen Lampton. I'm Jen Lampton. I'm a Drupal developer. I um, have been working on Bad Camp for a really long time. Uh, I, I love the way it brings everybody together, but but I also have a crazy passion that has nothing to do with computer technology, and that's horses. Thanks for taking a break from your ride today to talk with us. Jen, you've been involved with Bad Camp, I, I think, right from the beginning. Can you tell us about um, when and how Bad Camp got started? So Bandcamp started back in 2007, and back then, um, the first Drupal meetup in the San Francisco Bay Area had started, and that was on UC Berkeley campus. And we'd been meeting um, once a month or so to just kind of talk about Drupal, and everyone had a kind of a roundtable discussion at the meetups where we just brought our questions and helped each other through problems, and there was a lot of debates over you know, CCK versus FlexiNode. Um, and after we'd been doing that for a couple of months, Tao Starbo, the creator of the meetup, decided that he wanted to organize a camp. And so we did a Costco run and we set up a website because we knew how to do that. And lo and behold, the camp happened. So um, in that initial year, my job was basically running the registration desk. I felt like I didn't really have very much to contribute in terms of code or in terms of knowledge. Um, but I knew that I wanted to be a part of the community. So I went to the camp and I ran the registration desk. And I haven't owned a truck because I own a horse. And so it was also uh, very helpful in the moving stuff around from Costco. Um, and that's how I originally got, got roped into uh, working with Bad Camp. So um, back then, it was just kind of a really casual meeting of a bunch of people to share ideas. Uh, we had a much bigger turnout than we expected. There were a couple hundred people, and that surprised everyone. Um, but yeah, we've, we've tried to kind of grow the event and, and continue uh, in the same vein, where everyone just kind of gets together and shares ideas uh, ever since. Uh, some people talk about Bad Camp as a kind of style of Drupal event. What makes Bad Camp different? So one thing that I think we tries to um, we try and keep different is that uh, Bad Camp is free, and everything about Bad Camp is free. The the admission, the training that we offer, um, coffee fancy coffee, uh, donuts, everything you can imagine we try and give away for free. And we do that because we want to keep the barrier to entry as low as possible so that we can make the event um, open to everyone. So not just people whose companies are sending them because they're interested in learning about Drupal, but people who have heard about it and, and are maybe um, curious or 
future passionate about it. Like maybe they they're they're they don't know yet that they're going to be super passionate about Drupal, and they might not have come if it had a big big sticker price. But we want to get those people who really um, love the software into the community as uh, easily as possible, so that they can see what Drupal is all about. Wow, future passionate is a term that I really like. Um, I hope you don't mind if I use that. Uh, that that's a great way to describe the, the potential that's out there. So we also have a scholarship program. So if you want to come to Bad Camp, are really passionate about Drupal, have done um, something that is uh, uh, beneficial to the Drupal community, you should fill out the form on our website for, to apply for a scholarship and tell us why you deserve it. And we have a, a, a bucket of money reserved for people specifically um, who want to come to bed camp but wouldn't be able to make it without assistance. So that's a good place to start. Um, there are also a bunch of uh, really affordable places to stay in San Francisco. So we found a couple of cheaper hotels that are really close to the venue this year. And we have um, uh, uh, people staying together and uh, Airbnbs and stuff like that, that that's nearby as well. So um, we're trying to make it. We know San Francisco is more expensive than Berkeley, but we also know that there's a huge contingent of people who attend Bad Camp that can't afford, you know, the big downtown hotel prices. So we're trying to make it accessible for them, also. Right. And if you're a Drupalist, get on the social medias and post that you need a roommate. And I'm <coughs> find a friend and an interesting colleague for life. So Darius, you're a designer. And um, you've been involved with Bad Camp for four or five years now. Um, what is it that you do regularly in and around Drupal? And how do you support this vision of a really, really trying to share their technology to, to make the world a better place? So this will be year number four of my participation with Bad Camp. Uh, my day job is a web designer. I've been working with the Drupal platform for maybe about five years. And when I first discovered it, I thought it was really cool that it was an open source community-based project. And um, it, you know, I wasn't the most technically savvy person, but I really wanted to contribute back to this amazing project and help it make it be even better, you know, and help support the community. And uh, I was also looking for ways of maybe volunteering or to get involved. And at that time, uh, you know, typical broke college student story. Couldn't afford the ticket price. Uh, that was the San Francisco DrupalCon at the time. So at the same moment, I found Bad Camp, which was the free alternative. So I was like, yeah, let me go to this thing, but I don't just want to participate. I want to be a part of it. So at that time, they were only looking for someone to hang up posters. And I was like, well, you know, maybe I can help a little bit more. It seems like uh, there's a couple of other things that we want to also do to support this camp. I was an art student at the time, so I was also looking for uh, different ways of getting involved and doing uh, you know, actual field work rather than just stuff in school. So I was like, all right, here it goes. I'm going to sign up for this bad camp thing and uh, volunteer. And, you know, I started just making up tasks for myself. I said, let's take uh, all these little projects and take them to the next level. So I started off with making posters and signage. Uh, I think that was the first year we did the badge lit. And then we've just been pushing it further and further since then. Um, you know, next we did a 20 foot flag and, uh, just started adding crazy deliverable after deliverable and then, you know, pushing the website in all kinds of crazy directions. And then I started doing themes and just kind of building on the momentum and all the positive energy that uh, the other awesome, amazing volunteers were doing at the time. So um, I, um, I I borrowed a few of your posters two years ago during the cleanup. And um, actually, I think I had them up behind me when I was talking with Anne for the podcast last year. So, I saw um, that. <laughs> cool. um, so I'm looking for something good this year because I have a new, new office and um, white space behind me. Not in this office, but in my other office office. And by the way, congratulations for being the other person sitting in a messy, interesting room for this podcast and not a dull, zen-like space like the other three here. <laughs> you know, typical San Francisco apartment situation. My living room is my office, is my life. So if you see that, that's... <laughs> So the other thing that I really like about your story is that it's um, it fits perfectly with the Drupal narrative, which is uh, you showed up and you had some good ideas to ask permission, is this okay? You saw something that needed doing and you started doing it. And um, through that, you gained experience, connections, and you made Bad Camp better along the way. So that's actually um, 
even though you would have said back in the day, I'm, I'm only a designer, I don't know about tech or whatever, um, you've become an integral part of a tech community and a tech event. So very cool for, for doing it in the Drupal way. Thanks. And let's talk a little bit about how this very idealistic event actually changes people's lives and, and, and hopefully makes the world a little bit of a better place. Yeah, so Darius is a great example of someone who came to Bad Camp and it changed their life pretty much forever. And I guess after being involved in the camp for three three years now, four, four was my first time as an attendee and three times as part of the organizing team, is watching the magic of Drupal kind of happen around you. Bad Camp's a very intense program to put together because we have four full days of events. And when the event actually kicks off and you're on site and you have people come up to you and they're telling you their stories of how Bad Camp changed their lives, it's really, it really shows the magic of all of our efforts and the fruit of all of our labor. So, you know, Darius is a great example of someone who came in very green and now is quite an expert in the Drupal design space and uh, goes to different conferences and is a thought leader. Time and time again, I've met people that said, oh, I came to Bad Camp, and that's where I got my dream job. Um, we have a really cool intersection of where Bad Camp has a lot of developers that come to the event. And then we have a lot of um, job um, hunters that are looking for good talent. So it's a great intersection of where people can meet face to face and um, have those one to one connections and actually get to learn. I've also seen really great types of collaboration where um, where the teams have come and sprinted on different projects, whether it's multilingual, media. Um, this year we have a BHAT sprint. There's lots of different sprints that happen. And it's really kind of cool to walk around the event and see groups of people contributing and working on the project. So it changes people's personal lives. It's an event in space and time where we all get to come together and actually collaborate face to face on the project. And um, it's, it's, it's really cool because it is the largest camp in the world. Last year we had 1,650 registered attendees. And, uh, and this year we're well on the way to having one of our biggest, most baddest events ever. Andrew, you are running one of the summits that is happening in the context of Bad Camp, the Higher Ed Summit. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about the position of Drupal in higher education and um, this sort of collaboration that that uh, this collaboration opportunity that Bad Camp provides. Sure, uh, geez, higher education is um, well just adopted Drupal like a, like a child. It's 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 a it's a loving it's a loving thing that that they just uh, seem to foster and take care of and uh, and and want to do a lot with. Um, and and it's it's rare that. Um, Individuals from different institutions can come together and um, talk about the common challenges that they have. And this summit is a rare opportunity to find spaces for collaboration and uh, to share. Uh, it's it's a really magical thing. This is the fourth year we're going we're going to be running the summit. Um, it's going to be taking place on November seventh. And institutions from across uh, across the country and and even even outside of the United States attend. Uh, it's really quite an interesting, uh, interesting event, and uh, I think uh, I think anyone who's involved in higher education, in in libraries, in learning management systems, in design and IT, um, they get they get a lot out of the experience. We try and keep it very dynamic and uh, uh, kind of bar camp style, um, get people talking, find solutions, and establish long term relations relationships that can persist uh, beyond bad camp. Jen, give us a rundown of what those summits are, and then talk about the training that's available at Bad Camp this year. Okay, so we have um, on Thursday and Friday both, we have the Front End Summit, which is a combination of the UX UI Summit and the mobile. So it, uh, Front End Summit is two days, and it spans Thursday and Friday. We have the Nonprofit Summit, which will be on Thursday, the Higher Education Summit on Friday, a DevOps Summit on Friday. We also have a mini summit for BHAT, which is going to be on Friday. And then we have our standard core developer sprint, which rather than people talking, it's going to be people working. And that'll span all four days of the camp. So it'll be Thursday through Sunday. And then this year at Bad Camp, we're also offering a bunch of trainings. Um, trainings are only on Thursday and Friday, but on Thursday we have object-oriented programming, advanced SAS and Compass for RWD, um, enjoy Drupal, a site-building basics class, and Drupal immersion for beginners. 
And then on Friday, we have a Level Up Your Themer class, a Drupal 7 multilingual class, Enjoy Drupal site building and Drupal immersion for beginners, as well as a Drupal performance and scalability class. So there, all of those classes are offered for free, and you can sign up now. You have to put down a $20 deposit for each class if you want to attend, but you'll get that money back when you show up um, for class in the morning. So it's just to make sure we don't oversell seats and then not have people in them. Um, but you can sign up for summits and trainings right now on the website. So, Talk just briefly about the uh, more conferency part of Bad Camp, which is you know a bunch of tracks and sessions. When are they going on, and what are the tracks this year? So all of our sessions are going to be on Saturday and Sunday. This year, we're having kind of a main stage track on Saturday, where we have this beautiful theater that can seat about 900 people. And we're trying to get a bunch of really great uh, speakers, maybe even people that the Drupal community hasn't heard from before, to come and talk to the entire audience. But then we, of course, have all of our regular sessions that will be um, in, not in the main theater, but in the rest of our area. So this year, we've got sessions on business and community, coding and developing, designing and theming, DevOps and performance, and site building and using Drupal. So there's going to be talks for people of every level. And this will be on Saturday and Sunday um, from people you've heard of in the Drupal community and people you haven't. OK, now, um, this is a great event to learn about Drupal, to meet future colleagues, to hire people, to make the world a better place through technology. All of that is true. But, Anne, why should we come really? What's the cool, fun stuff going on? Well, aside from contributing and doing all those good things, we will have things like uh, vegan donuts, soy lattes, regular lattes. We'll have a good old Pantheon party on Saturday. We've got games night, pinball machines. We have a geodesic dome. We have a bike shop. And this is all happening at the very iconic and majestic Palace of Fine Arts in the heart of the marina, right by the Golden Gate Bridge. So in between sessions and everything else, you can actually soak up some of the wonderful activities in the Bay Area. So it should be a lot of fun. And fingers crossed, we may actually get our pirate ship. Wow. This sounds like as much San Francisco experience rolled into one as, as you can possibly get in a weekend. Uh, between technology and vegan food and pirate ships, I think we, uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Listen, <laughs> come out to Bad Camp for a huge dose of San Francisco, a huge dose of Drupal technical goodness and Drupal community goodness, a lot going on and a lot of fun in and around the entire event. Trainings, summits. There are scholarships available if you need them and you want to come out and make a difference. You can volunteer, you can learn, you can teach, you can share. Come out to Bad Camp 2014. Um, any last words? Jen Lampton. Come to Bad Camp. It's the craziest Drupal party ever. All right. Darius? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this year's theme is 8 bits. Um, so you know, bring your most nostalgic Nintendo moments and you know, let's uh, have a good time. All right, and I love vegan waffles. <laughs> I don't know. Come, come to Bad Camp and get the best of San Francisco from technology to vegan food and all the open source goodness. See you there this fall. All right, then Andrew. Now is the time. You wanted to come to Bad Camp. You've put it off. If you don't come this year, you will be sad. Right. On a personal note, I <laughs> didn't come last year, and I did have a sad. So um, what Andrew said is true. The big thank you all very, very much, Team Bad Camp 2014. And I am very pleased to say I will see you out there in just a few weeks. Yay. Take thank care, everyone. You. Thanks. <laughs> Ciao. of what those summits are, and then talk about the training that's available at Bad Camp this year. Uh, OK, hold on. Let me pull up the list of training. Cut that later. Sorry. OK, huge opportunity for amazing free Drupal training. Jen, how many? Whoa, what was that? <laughs> oh, OK, Andrew. God, Sorry. distracted me like crazy. Um, <laughs> You could do that. So, uh, Jen, um, 
I was saying, oh yes, 